Hello there everyone, today we are gonna talk about split ramp. In this video I'll show you how to do split ramp in Premiere Pro. Also I'll talk about when you should do split ramp. We'll discuss everything we need to know about split ramp and slow motion. So without any further ado, let's get started. First we need to know what a split ramp is. In simple words, it means changing the speed of your videos. Let's break it down a bit. We can say speed ramp is from normal speed to slow motion or from slow motion to normal speed or faster or from normal to faster to slow motion. And confusing, right? Let's do a simple example. This will clear everything. In this video, we're gonna speed up some moments and make it slower or normal in some other moments. In Premiere Pro, we can do this in two ways. You can right click and select speed duration. Here you can make your footage slower or faster. If you go more than 100%, then you are making the video play faster. Set it below 100% will make your video slower. But we're not gonna use this method. It will give you a hard cut and we don't want that. So let's talk about the second method. One quick tip. You can zoom in or out by holding the Alt or Option key and scrolling the mouse wheel. Okay, first we need to expand this video layer. If you place the cursor in this area and scroll the mouse wheel upward, it will expand the layer. We can also do this by dragging this layer up or down. Holding Ctrl or Command and pressing the plus or minus key will do the same. Here we can see a line. By default this line represents opacity. Dragging this down will reduce the opacity but we need to change that to speed. So right click and go to show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. Now dragging this line down reduces the clip playback speed and dragging it up will make it faster. Ok, suppose I want to play it faster at the first few seconds and when the player crossing the other player we're gonna slow it down right at this moment. We can create points by holding Ctrl or Command and left click. So if we make this portion faster, it will stop at this point. If we don't make a point here, the whole clip will play faster. Now at this moment I want to again make it faster. So I will create another point here. Let's make this portion slower by dragging it down. Now you see there is a hard transition between faster portion and the slower portion. We can make it smoother, just click and drag the handle to break it apart. Also you can make this line a curve line. Now let's say I will again make the video play faster up to here. And then again make it slower and faster again. The process remains the same. Drag this portion to the up and drag this portion to the down. Now to make the transition smoother, we'll split the handle. Ok great, now let's play it. Cool, right? We know how to create a speed ramp and now we need to know when to use a speed ramp and slow motion. There's one more important thing I must talk about before that. When you are shooting, remember these three points. Always shoot at the higher frame rates so you have a room to make it slower. Higher shutter speed will reduce the motion blur. And finally, plan accordingly. Not every footage is suitable for speed ramping or slow motion. If your footage has lower frame rates like 24 or 30 frames per second, you can still do slow motion. Let me show you a trick. For example, this clip is 30 frames per second. If I slow it down to 40%, ew, it looks so choppy. This is not usable. But you can make it smoother by selecting optical flow. We can select optical flow from speed duration. Or you can right click, select time interpolation and then select optical flow. Now render the selection and see the magic. So far we have learned how to use a speed ramp, things to remember while recording and now we are gonna learn when to use a speed ramp and this is the hardest part. You cannot use a speed ramp in every scene. You need to figure out why it suits and why it doesn't. In general we use a speed ramp or, or slow motion in important or cool moments. If we use slow motion in this case, does it make any sense? Of course not. Think of the Avengers Infinity War movie. When Iron Man suits up in this scene, it was his new suit up and it was a slow motion. It looks so amazing. Let's see more examples. In your first example, we did the same thing. 
when the player shows his tricks and passing his opponents, we slow it down because it was more important and cooler than just running. Slow motion works great when the subject or object is close to the camera. Look at these examples. When we revealing something, slow motion works great. Another area where slow motion works perfect when there is a lot of details. You are slowing it down so your viewers can see every detail. Remember when Wanda broke the minus stone? It was a slow motion scene. Same way we see many product ads in slow motion. You can also use slow motion for transition. But remember it needs to make sense. These are the only few cases where you can use speed ramp or slow motion. The possibility is limitless when it comes to creativity. You just need to figure out why you should use slow motion and why you shouldn't. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. Like and subscribe my channel for new tutorials every week and ring the bell to stay notified. Thank you so much for watching this video.